This week on Full Auto Friday, we get to shoot perhaps the best medium machine gun in the world, and it's not even American. The PKM, the latest general purpose machine gun in the world. This week's gun is in fact the PKM, favored of third world armies the world over, and it's chambered in 7.62x54, a cartridge which dates back to the 19th century and really shouldn't feed in a machine gun at all. Why? Well, it's a rimmed cartridge as the R suggests in its nomenclature, and in order to feed it out of this belt, the gun first has to pull it out backwards and then stuff it into the receiver. Unlike typical Western God-fearing machine guns, where you have a disintegrating link and it simply pushes the cartridge out of the disintegrating link and into the chamber, this thing has to do two actions instead of one. As you can see, the construction is typical Soviet. It is a stamped sheet metal receiver, laminated birch stock, hammer forged chrome lined barrel, and gas operated. When we take the gas system apart, you'll be able to see certain design traits you're probably going to recognize from other guns. This belt, incidentally, was first featured in the Maxim machine gun around about uh, before First World War time, so it dates back a long ways. Pretty reliable though, it's more reliable than you would think. All right, onward and upwards, let's go take this thing apart. Okay, to disassemble this, then in typical belt fed fashion, we're gonna lock the bolt to the rear, pop the top cover, lift the feed tray, weapon's clear, and then we're gonna slide off the barrel. So there's a little locking slide right here, barrel comes undone, and just slides off the front of the gun. The barrel does have an integral gas regulator on the block. All right, so barrel's out. Run the bolt forward, take out the recoil spring, and then to get the bolt carrier out, pull the trigger, slide it up to the rear. Now, if you look at this group here, what do you see? Typical Kalashnikov design. Long stroke gas piston, three lug bolt. The only real difference is the feed horns at the top here. And those little lugs strip the cartridge out and present it in front of the bolt for feeding. So as you can see there, typical Kalashnikov design, long stroke gas piston, rotating bolt, floating firing pin, which if we push forward and then pull out to the rear, completely disassembles in about 30 seconds flat. Truly brilliant design. Putting it together, it goes in reverse order. In goes the recoil spring, which like the carrier is hinged in order to fit it into the receiver. Cock the weapon. And then put the barrel back in. So quick change barrel. Comes with two barrels in the kit. So you can swap them out when they get too hot. And there you go, back together. It's beautifully simple. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to go shoot it. All right, let's go hot on this bad boy. So first thing we're gonna do is cock the weapon. Lift up the feed tray, check that chamber. Now, because this is a tab belt, we're gonna lay it across the feed tray here. Make sure the rim of the cartridge seats in the little feed horns. Close the top cover, cock the weapon. As you notice, it feeds from the wrong side, just to make sure that you know that it is from the other side of the iron curtain. Yeah, you can definitely rip off doubles and singles really easily with this. The trigger's really controllable. I love my job. Now to unload the PKM, like most open bolt, belt fed weapons, the first thing you're gonna do is cock it. Then open, open the top cover, lift up the feed tray, check the chamber, 
play off the action. And you're done. Introduced in the 1960s and still in production today in over seven countries, the Man Portable, highly capable and very Russian PKM. Come back soon for another Full Auto Friday. Oh.